here in your wonderful shop, I discovered this little gem of knowledge. And I'm very delighted that you shared some of your knowledge with me. Please tell us about the Palantine Chapel, where we have this Muslim, okay. uh, Arab um, synthesis with the local culture. Uh, if, uh, the church of uh, Roger II. In this church, in the Schelling, uh, the Kufic uh, text. So there's Kufic in the yes. church? In the, the church, in, in the Christian church, mm -hmm. this uh, Kufic uh, uh, Arabic. po yes. Arabic. Uh, mm, and this yeah. text is uh, a, a poetic for, uh, uh, for uh, Roger II. This is uh, the uh, text. So this is the Arabic? Uh, this is uh, uh, Arabic mm -hmm. text into yes. in the church. This is uh, pointing, mm -hmm. selling of uh, Palatine Chapel. This is the ceiling? Yes. Of the Palatine Chapel? This is uh, a text in, in Kufic Arabic. Yes. What does the church mean to you? You're Sicilian, so what does it mean to you? Is it very precious? Is it special? Yes, this is uh, this this yes. uh, this uh, uh, this for this for uh, this for me mm -hmm. uh, the symbol of uh, uh, of uh, Sicilian culture. Oh. This the fact the symbol is this because yes. in, in the, uh, because in this uh, in this uh, in this church mm -hmm. uh, all represents all culture in this island. So Arab was a language. Yes, uh, for the, only part, for language. Part of Sicilian culture and Christians and Jews and Muslims. You, yes, all everybody spoke every, Arabic. Everybody. But but the um, uh, the hegemonic uh, is uh, uh, Christians. Mm -hmm. Roger is Christians. Roger is uh, uh, Latin Christians. Yes. And uh, in, in this island, um, uh, half half people is Arabs for language. Mm -hmm. Because Roger spoke Arabic as well. Yes. And Frederick spoke Arabic. Yeah. Uh, 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 Roger yes. Frederick. Yes. Yes. So yes. all Raxisli uh, many 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 language yes. because it's, uh, the the society is uh, for uh, multicultural yes. it was a multicultural yes, society yes yes and uh, in, the, in the in the in the yes. first uh, ver, ver, first document mm -hmm. um, the text is written in three language the text and yes. three language yes wow this is uh, um, a description of uh, first uh, watch mm -hmm. first watch of uh, roger uh, roger sago language latin language Greek language and Arab language. Wow. This is a representation of people of this island. The most important culture is in Arabs, in the, yes. in Arabs language, in the Arab culture, uh, because um, uh, uh, Roger in the in the in this island, mm -hmm. uh, in this island. Uh, uh, many many people uh, many people yes. uh, for 100 100 uh, if, mm, for many years is yes. uh, is uh, all arabs mm. uh, arabs for language and arabs for culture and muslim and uh, in this uh, um, it's a mantle yes. uh, for uh, you, um, uh, Roger Rex used for uh, in, coron in coronation. Uh, Frederick, uh, Frederick II used this for uh, in coronation. This is the, the symbol of family of Roger mm -hmm. Rex. This is a family, uh, family Rex, symbol. first Rex. This yes. palms and lions. Palm trees. Palms and lions, and this and this is camel. Uh, many people, yes. uh, many yeah. Sicilian people, many Sicilian people mm -hmm. is uh, Arabs. Mm, how interesting! So you have the date palm tree, which palm. is significant to both Muslims and Christians. Yes, this in this this is the symbol of tolerance because in this it's symbol of Christians and Muslims. Muslim, but ah. in this uh, Kufic text. So this is Arabic, it's Arabic Kufic. Arabic Kufic. Uh, it's not Arabic. No. It's not uh, Christian. No. It's Sicilian culture. Sicilian. Sicilian culture. What an example to the world of synthesis and harmony. So this is si, si Sicilia. Sicilia. For example, in Italian language is segare. Uh -huh. You write this? Yeah. Sarur. Sarur. In Arabs, surar. In Sicilian, sirrari. Ah. The same. But uh, not only in language, but uh, in the way. In the way of life. In the way, yes, in the yes. locality. Uh, different uh, castles, uh, the name of different castles, uh, Arabs' origins. How interesting. 
Can you show us some foods that are from Arabic to Sicilian culture? This, uh, this with sugar is uh, Arab sorry. It's ricotta. Ricotta, ricotta cheese, cheese with, with sugar. Arab, with sugar. No, no, this, uh, no, mm. this type. But uh, ricotta, ricotta cheese. Yeah. Arab origins without tomato. Mm. What is it called? What is it called? What is the name? Caponata. Caponata. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. You've shared history with us and, uh, you know, the influence of Arabic culture. Yes. In Sicily, the synthesis and this coming together of cultures is a great example for not only Europe, but for the world, especially in today's world, where there's so much lack of tolerance and there's so much misunderstanding of the other. So that's fantastic. Thank you for sharing this with us. And it's been really good to be in your show.